Hi, beauties and curls. It's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and having a seat and out of all the YouTube universe. Decided to come and chit chat with your girl. Today's video, we are doing update two to the Pan That Palettes and One Month One Palette. So let's just go ahead and pick a palette. I feel like that that's the most like <sighs> exhilarating part of this. So I never get bored. I was into my my little pony yes please palette my amanda steel which i didn't really use this one but i did use my ipsy and ColourPop collaboration and i really really enjoyed these um these two i enjoyed the most but i found a new love in this palette which is paper tiger now paper tiger is this beautiful shade right here it's like a peanut butter cream mustard shade Hence the reason I, I actually really like that because my walls are that color. But I really like this color. It's a wonderful transition shade and it brings some warmth. But at the same time, it's like a different type of warmth that it brings. I did do a holiday glam slash special occasion video. I did a makeup tutorial and I used the shade and it really changed the look. So I really enjoyed that. I really understand why Jaclyn Hill likes those pukey colors as she would say it and I really like it a lot it's a great color that you can use by itself or a compliment and use it as a transition shade so I really enjoyed this and my little pony and yes please palette in the yes please palette oh, this is such a great palette like this if you're thinking about getting the the Natasha Denona and you're not wanting to spend the money I highly recommend this a couple of youtubers have done like dupes videos or comparisons and they said that this one is very very close to it if you don't want to dish out the money I highly recommend you trying this just because it has again those beautiful shades this color called GNO has become one of my favorite this shade note to self it has a lot of great transition shades I feel like that the mattes in here are amazing as well as the metallics I really do enjoy this palette of course y'all saw me do a tutorial on using this palette which is the my little pony palette again some great transition shades and some great metallics this one has a little bit more pops of color so if you wanted a pops of color top slash like warm tone these are great yeah that's what I enjoyed with these I'm kind of disappointed to be honest with you because I have not hit pan in any of these it looks like I'm about to hit pan in sable but I have not hit it yet and in taupe I have not now I'm learning something about hitting pan though is that the denser the brush and you putting it in the same spot is the trick and using it all the time so what I think I want to do is really concentrate on using this palette and use like pops of colors and what I mean by that is because the holidays are coming up I want to use palettes that my like small palettes so I have a few that I want to show you that I want to use during the holidays November December New Year's I want to use pops of colors so of course I will always need a transition shade so taupe sable mauve are the ones that I've been using a lot I've been using champagne gold and light bronze and pewter a lot which I have dips in those but uh, I have to use this more and cream I keep forgetting to set my eye with this and I keep using my NYX palette which you'll see in just a second because I have made considerable uh, progress on that palette but let me show you guys what I want to use in conjunction to my Lorac Pro. So in conjunction to my Lorac Pro I'm going to use two like really elaborate sparkly palettes and these are the two. I'm going to use my Dose of Colors Desi X Katie palette. I feel like that this would be amazing to put on the lid for the holidays and I also want to use my Tom Ford palette. This is in zero four honeymoon I, I hauled this a long time ago and y'all I used this at my sister's wedding and never really like gave y'all a review on it and it's because I haven't used all the colors in this so I want to get some use I feel like that these are great winter shades and great for the holidays so I'm going to use this palette and I'm going to use my Desi 
x katie joseph colors palette i feel like that that would be amazing to use in conjunction with this because i really want to hit pan my goal is to hit pan and sable and taupe and cream so one two three shades right here i'm going to show you what i had from last week i'm going to show you update one and the progress in that which really wasn't too much and in this one Now I am expecting to hit pan in a couple of these. I'm just going to concentrate on those three mattes just because those are the ones that I see that I'm using a lot. So I want to use cream, taupe, and sable. And I, yeah, those are the three. I, I think one of the things that I didn't do was make goals for myself for my palettes. So I definitely want to do that. And so I'm going to concentrate mainly on my Lorac Pro. There are so many other palettes that I love, but I really, I don't know. I just, I'm about a mission about hitting pan on this. And I can tell you that Project Pan has changed my mindset. And a lot of things I have considerably slowed down on purchasing palettes. I think the last palette that I purchased, um, I don't even think it was a last palette that I purchased. I think it was maybe even gifted or given to me um, or I was at an event, um, but I have not purchased a palette in a minute, in a couple of months for sure. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Now, let me show you what progress I made on my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I, you know what I'm going to start doing is taking pictures. I was taking pictures before rather than showing the pop, the palette but I had not hit pan until I think yesterday and it was in this cream shape now I've been using this and you can see the little pan I have been using this to set my under eye and on my lid to set my my primer so I've been using this and that's the reason why I have hit pan on that so I'm really excited at least I didn't hit pan although I didn't hit pan in Lorac Pro I did hit pan in this so I'm really excited. I feel like I can still see, I, I'm probably going to hit pan in these two next, but I definitely want to expand the pan in this cream one and in the one of my Lorac Pro. I see that I really do like these for setting the under eye, mixing these two. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to hit pan in this bronzer right here on the end next and on the yellow shade, probably the yellow shade before the bronzer, but I have been loving this palette. I highly recommend if you need something to set the under eye, if you want contour, highlight, uh, these are shimmer shades. Um, I use these every now and then, but these are a little bit more powdery. They're not my ideal highlighting colors, but I can definitely see myself hitting pan on one, two, three, four quickly. And um, yeah, I have been loving this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update for Pan That Palettes and One Month One Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you are panning right now or if you're planning a project pan or if you're in a project pan right now, comment down below. Let me know so I can go ahead and check out those videos. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, loveys.